Hello everyone, this is April. I'm back to do a video on the Frasia. Had a special request. I apologize it took so long. Um, but Frasias come in all different colors. Today we're gonna be doing one that's red orange with a little bit of yellow. And here are my colors and a few brushes. And all this will be listed at the end of the, the video so you can give this a try at home. All right, so let's get started. I kind of outlined or just did a loose little uh, drawing or pattern with my um, pencil. And remember, you don't have to follow it exactly. So I'm gonna take my chisel blender and we're gonna pick up our dark green and maybe just a little bit of the light green. And we're gonna paint our stem. And remember the stem drag, you just drag your chisel See that there? And this is with medium pressure, a little bit more pressure than my other videos because we've got a lot of little blossoms that's going to be um, right at the top there, so we don't want it too thin. Okay, so here is our stem, and let's do our, our um, leaf here. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of this medium pick up a little bit of that okay so here drag our chisel just ice skate slowly start to add pressure slowly start to release pressure as you turn the brush and then you end on your tippy toe okay so another one right over here ice skate pressure here turn that brush release pressure and end on your tippy toe there we go, and let's do a little flip over here. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the light green on the corner of my brush, and to make that show up more, I'm gonna mix a little bit of white to that light green, and blend it really well so it kinda of creates like a lighter green. And with the light green on the top, Let's so, move that over here. I'm going to place my chisel, lean up a little bit, release pressure, and then just drag downwards. So you see here, it looks like there's like a little flip. I just want to smooth that out a little bit. Okay. So to make that flip show really well, you got to make sure that you're green in the background is dark so that when you apply that light green it's going to show up a lot better for you okay so i'm just going to make this a little bit longer now all these blossoms have uh these little calyx so i'm gonna go ahead and add that just dragging my one corner of the brush and you see how it kind of starts to turn. There we go. It starts to turn and it gets slightly smaller. Okay, as you go out a little further. So this is your biggest one right here. And it does slightly curve. Now I'm gonna add a little bud and that's just taking your chisel, add a little pressure and release pressure. So it kind of creates that little teardrop shape, pressure and release, okay? And there we go. Now let's clean our brush and we're gonna pick up our blossom colors, which is our red red and yellow. So pick up a lot of the yellow and a little bit of red on the top. See that? There we go. And taking the red, well, let's start first with our yellow. We're gonna add a little yellow to the tips of each of these calyxes right here. 
And this is actually the bottom part of the flower, which is kind of like the neck of the flower. So we're adding that first. There we go. Make this one a little bit bigger because it's closest to us. And let that green blend a little bit as you pull. Let that green blend in with the yellow. There we go. So let's reload the brush again. And we're going to start off. Well, let's add first our little tips of red to these little the buds here. These are the ones that are almost ready to open up. So we need to add a little bit of the red. Now, we're going to start over here because this is your smallest, gradually gets bigger, and then this is your the biggest, okay? So we're going to start off over here. Now, don't start straight up and down, but at a slight angle, because we're going to go up at an angle, turn the top a little bit, and slide down. You can kind of pull down that color. Let me wipe that up. Make sure that all that green is out of the brush. A little bit of the red, so I'm reloading again. Then let's do our right petal. And you see, I'm just rotating the top. So right here, chisel, turn, 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 go right into the center there and pull. And let's do another, like a comma stroke. You see that? And I'm just dragging my chisel pulling towards that center. And we're not going all the way to the bottom of that yellow, just more to the towards the top of that because we want all that to show. And let's move on to the next one. Same thing. Now, we're, when we paint this, we ignore what's there on the side because this is going to start overlapping. So let's do our right petal now. And when you overlap petals on top of petals you got to make sure you always pick up nice clean paint so i've got more red on that corner so that it can really show up right on top of this okay there we go and another one over here I'm gonna to try to keep that center open so that we can add a calyx right there at the very end. So I'm trying to keep that open, pick up a little more paint, and let's do a comma stroke here. Pick up more paint, and I'm gonna switch my brush so that we now have the yellow on the top and we're going to just pull a petal right in the center of this right petal and then pull to the center see that so you can do that as well it just gives your painting a little more dimension just by switching your color a little bit there we go now we're going to do this last one if you need to clean your brush, go ahead and clean your brush. Just wipe it off and then reload with fresh paint. Okay. So a lot of yellow with a little bit of red on the top. Same thing. So chisel, turn that top, release pressure, and then sl slide down. Okay. And what that reminds me of is an old Christmas tree light. You see the shape? So as you're doing this, um, you can keep that in mind. So reloading the brush again. Let's do the same stroke, right side petal, picking up nice fresh red. And we're going to overlap right about there. So go up, rotate, and slide down. Okay, and another one, and remember I'm going to try to keep that center a little bit separated 
So there's a small petal there, and I'm gonna add another petal right here on the side. You see, I just rotate that top, release pressure, and slide back down. So if you look at the bottom of each of these petals, it's forming like a V. So make sure you do that. So you see that V right at the very bottom? And now I'm gonna pick up more paint. And let's add one right in here, right on top, and then slide to the center. And remember, don't go all the way down. Now I'm picking up some red. I'm going to add my um, last petal, which is gonna be right here. Now this flower has six petals. So this is our sixth one, and that's the one that's kind of facing like this, right towards you. So kind of like a smile, and there's a little dip there, and we can do one right here as well. So let's add that. So I'm just using the corner of the brush. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna redo this petal right here. So if you need to redo a petal, just pick up more paint. And I'm gonna redo this one right here. Turn. And then slide. That just kind of cleaned up that center area there. Okay, now the blossoms are all done. Just going to take our liner brush, pick up a little bit of water to that, and I'm pulling a little bit of the green and the yellow. And right here in the center where the uh, petals are kind of separated, we're just going to add some short little lines which become the calyx or not the calyx i'm sorry the stamens okay and then go ahead and add a few little dots and let's do one right over here as well and make sure we don't make them too tall okay they should be pretty short and then don't forget your little dots here. And then with our white and yellow, I'm gonna tap a few of the white ones or the lighter ones right on top. And remember, keep it very tiny. And you can also use a toothpick. Those really work well trying to make those little dots. There we go. Okay, and I think we're done. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, give this a try at home. Let me know how you do. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.